can you grow carrot seeds from planting whole carrots? I say 100% absolutely yes, and I have the evidence here in my garden to prove it. All right guys, I'm Papa Pepper at the Abundant Harvest Homestead and today I'm answering the question, what happens if you plant a carrot? About seven months ago I had an idea and when I had the idea, some people laughed. All right guys, Papa Pepper with a special one today because today I am planting carrots in the garden. Yes, the idea was to simply take whole carrots and plant them in my soil here in the garden. Um, when I did that, I bought a bag of organic carrots from the store. I probably planted 10 or a dozen of them in this area. And some people thought, well, this guy has no clue how gardening works. You know, carrots are the crops. They're not what you plant, you plant the seeds. The carrots are the food that you're trying to grow. So in this area, I planted them. And the reason I planted them was very specific. I'll let you hear it from me months ago, just so you know this was my intention going into it. So if you guys know anything about carrots, they're kind of a second year crop if you're going for seed. Which means if you plant your first year crop, you'll be able to harvest the carrots the first year. But if you leave them in the soil over winter, in the spring, they will shoot up and be usually like the tallest plant in your garden at the beginning of the year. Um, they'll shoot up two, three feet sometimes, maybe more. They'll put out this big kind of white flower usually that turns to seed. And basically I encountered some pretty cool varieties at the store, they're all organic. And uh, these purple ones in here especially, you know, they've got a nice yellow inside. Um, so what I'm thinking is, you know what? Let's just plant these carrots. If they overwinter well, then in the spring I'll be able to have seeds for all these different varieties and uh, then grow my own for years to come. Got a, you know, an organic source. So hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll work. We'll find out here in a minute. But yes, I'm, I'm really planting carrots in my garden. So I thought since if you plant some carrots, you know, the seeds, you will get carrots. That then if you plant the carrots, you will get seeds. See, plant seeds, get carrots. Plant carrots, get seeds. Because a carrot is pretty much a two-year crop. There's a way to force it. But if you're going for seeds, it's pretty much a two-year crop. You plant them the first year, they produce some carrots within a couple months. If you let them overwinter and come back the second year, then they go to seed right away. So I should have taken a video earlier this year because they all overwintered in the soil here and they all started growing this spring. Now, for some reason, only one remained alive. The rest of them died, it might have just been because it was not the brightest idea. And it may have been I was having some mole issues, underground burrowing rodents that were eating things in my garden, so that could be a possibility too. But the cool thing is, out of about 10 or 12, I did get one, and based on the location, the guineas are talking now too, but based on the location, I'm thinking that this might have even been the purple one with the yellow inside. So it overwintered in my garden, and it also has grown all this growth you see here, and on it, it's got about seven flower heads, each of which is gonna make hundreds of seeds. So when I had the idea of planting carrots to try to get them to come back in the spring and go to seed, it absolutely 100% was effective. Now the level to which it was effective was about 10% because only one out of all of them that I planted actually worked, but it did work. So can you grow carrot seeds from planting whole carrots? I say 100% absolutely yes, and I have the evidence here in my garden to prove it. Now, as I said before, Normal people normally plant carrot seeds, but today I'm planting carrots in my garden. But that's just part of it for me, guys. Part of it is just to experiment, to explore, to see what's possible. I'll give you a close-up on this one, and then I'll show you some other carrots that I planted last year as seeds and let over winter, and now they're actually going to flower too. So if you look here, there's a little bit of shard growing. I recently, recently, I know it's about July, just planted some... Uh, a little bit of corn out here too, but this is the actual carrot I planted. 
As you see, it doesn't look as appetizing as a regular carrot from what's exposed. Uh, the first year is when you eat the actual root. Second year, it kind of changes a bit, and it grows up all of this right to here. So you can see this flower head. This is the biggest one right now. That'll be pollinated and produce just tons of little seeds, but there's actually seven different flower heads starting off of this. So I'm very excited. Hopefully this is that purple kind with the yellow inside. I think I have some seeds for something like that anyway from Baker Creek Heirloom Seed Company. But just to kind of take these organic ones from the store and actually stick them in the soil and actually get them to come and flower as long as nothing eats this because there's a woodchuck that's been coming around lately I may have to live trap and relocate. And there was a deer that was getting in my garden a bit ago. But if nothing gets this, I'll be able to have my own seeds uh, from this one I planted myself, which is crazy. So over here too, you can see an example. There's one carrot coming from down here in the soil and one from over here. Um, right now, compared to me, you know, this thing is chest height. Which is one reason I said, you know, if you leave a carrot in through the winter, it may be one of your biggest plants the next year. They start off as little green kind of clusters like a bird's nest almost, they open up, they get all these little white flowers, and the pollinators come in and pollinate them, and then you get all these tiny little seeds going. So these were some that I was saving last year, and you can see there's a number of flower heads. They actually did get nibbled down once by a deer, and then they just kind of started growing some new ones, which I'm glad they try again. And then same thing over here, although I think it's recently been attacked a bit by a woodchuck kind of nibbling down and eating these too so they're getting some food out of it but if you look we still got some flower heads starting up again because the originals got eaten off so hopefully i can get some seeds from this too so for everyone that was curious as to whether my insane crazy planting carrots plan would work now you know you can plant carrots from the store from the grocery store and I'd recommend, you know, getting a trusted supply or even, you know, picking some up at a um, farmer's market or something like that if you want. But you can potentially plant them and get them to grow, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I've just proven it. I, I'm not sure of anyone else, you know. It's just an idea I had. I'm uh, unaware of anyone else ever trying something like that. But if you guys are ever wondering, absolutely, absolutely you can. So hopefully I'll get some seeds from this. If I do, I will definitely be planting them and growing my own for some plant generations to come. All right, Baba out. So I get it. At this point, people are wondering, is this actually gonna work? Truth is, I don't know. If it doesn't work, I wasted about $2. If it does work, then I know it works. It absolutely 100% was effective. Can you grow carrot seeds? from planting whole carrots? I say 100% absolutely yes, and I have the evidence here in my garden to prove it. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you, don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people, where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Papa out.